Carnival walking through there with you? right away or do you need a little bit of time? Captain, over here. The workup's in the cabinet's hands. They said they'll call for us once they've gotten to properly review it. But listen, I know I should have been more forthcoming about who I was earlier. So, in the interest of full disclosure, there's one more thing you ought to know before we head up there. My relationship with the UC, it's more complicated than it might seem at first glance. The UC's actually the only reason I'm here in the first place. I am a clone of a man named Francois Sanon, one-time fleet admiral of the UC during the Colony War, former head of the UC Navy. They called him Ve Victus, woe to the defeated in Old Earth Latin. A title he earned. 
The program I was a part of, it was the UC's attempt to create a new generation of military minds from one of their most respected tacticians. Secure the leadership of the UC military for generations to come. A non-trivial amount of gene editing. Clone, honestly, isn't even really the right term for our relationship, thanks to the amount of donor material that was required to bring me into this world. He and I are different on more than a few levels, but there's no denying the fact we're inextricably linked. I'm the last. A few of my siblings, they passed when we were young training accidents and the like. But most of the rest were deployed to the front lines during the colony war, and they never came back. Not a day goes by where I don't think about what the world would look like with them still in it. He would have happily told you he was one of the greats. Ultimately, though, it didn't matter. The man I was cloned from, my father, was executed for acts he committed during the war. The man caused a lot of death on both sides. The Free Star Collective and UC. Military and civilians. And the things he did, well, they're a part of the reason the UC and Free Star Collective aren't really on great terms to this day. So my involvement it could be another obstacle they throw at us up there. I just wanted you to be forewarned. I, I really appreciate you saying that. I just thought you deserved to know, considering how much you've done already. You know, while we've got a second, was there anything else we needed to discuss? I know you got dropped into the middle of this pretty fast. Or, if you've got any last-minute business to attend to, now might be a good time. No telling how long the cabinet's gonna keep us waiting out here. Then I guess it's just a matter of... All parties, please proceed to the cabinet chambers. Ah, Captain. Congratulations on joining the ranks of the men. You must be the captain Hadrian mentioned in her report. You have our thanks for the risks you faced in securing this information. Oh, I'm sure she did. Yes, well, precisely how urgent is what I hope will determine here today. So now, we have two petitioners here making a... Surprising request. Access to the UC Xeno Warfare team's Terramorph data, currently housed in the Armistice archives. A request which will require not just this body's agreement, but that of all three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, Captain, we've all read Hadrian's report on the subject, but we have yet to hear from you. Perhaps you could summarize for the Cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. That's quite the leap, Captain. Madam President, I object to the very premise of this meeting. 
While no one would argue that what happened on Tau Ceti was anything less than a tragedy, Terramorph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. They've been happening for generations. To demand, we hand over banned archival knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack. Seems at best panic. And at worst, a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger and her associates. I would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to. If it's my father you're looking to address, you're welcome to consult a medium. I would also ask, how many deaths the cabinet requires to act? Fifty? Fifty thousand? Because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? And while there should be no doubt, the preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief Essene has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data? I don't think it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. As the one who actually collected the sample in question, did this Terramorph seem at all alarming to you? That is worth considering. This attack took place on an almost completely uninhabited world. The casualties were minimal as a result. But if there's another attack, will we be so lucky? Hmm. Yes, a fine point, Admiral. So then, Captain, given the discussion now and the information you've been privy to thus far, if you were in our position, would you grant the request made to open the archives? I'm uncomfortable opening the archives without gathering more information. However, if that's the path forward you prefer, then so be it. I'm inclined to agree. As am I. Uh, I suppose that does get to the heart of the point, doesn't it? Very well. I consent. The galaxy was lucky you were here today, Captain. You and I are in agreement, Chief Diplomat. So, if there are no other objections, I believe we can agree to give our full backing to make the request to... <gasps> what was that? Attention. Attention. An incident has occurred. Facility lockdown engaged. Incident? Chief Sarkin, what's happening? There's been an attack at the spaceport. Terramorphs. Terramorphs? More attacks, just as predicted. Good God. Damn it. They're here. Now. There, there must be another explanation. The creatures evaded our scanner somehow. There will be plenty of time for conjecture later. Chief Sarkin, order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain the things, but do it discreetly. The last thing we need is a citywide panic. Yes, ma'am. Admiral Logan, the local barracks can provide support? I'll make the order myself. Nearest anti-Xeno squad, though, is off-world. Going to take a while to bring them in. Well then, we'll have to make do with the tools we've got. You two, we can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. I want you both on the next train there. We'll let them know you're coming, and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. We're on it, ma'am. Captain, I'm right behind. Let's get down there.
Get your rifle! Grab it! Now! Stop! We're trying That's to it. help you! Now hit him with everything you've got! Please. You got here when you did. I... I just wish it hadn't come to that. Yeah, what the hell happened back there, Captain? There's no excuse for using lethal force here. Or you could have used the EM gun like you were ordered. These are lives you're playing with here. So get your head in the game. Understand? Now, officer, the way those people were acting, I've seen this before. They were under the Terramorph's influence, weren't they? I... I don't know. They were down at the port, and they just started screaming. We tried to restrain them, get them on the train to get them out of harm's way, but... but some of the other officers down there... We couldn't restrain them fast enough. They just started firing on us. People we knew. They went berserk. Thermonic projection. Some terramorphs, they can induce this fog. It affects everyone differently, but some people just lose control, turn against everyone around them, even if they don't want to. They're like a puppet. You kill the morph, you break the hold. But this means we're going to need to be real careful with our fire and keep that EM weapon at the ready. Well, you better keep that EM weapon loaded then. Now let's move. Matt's unlocked. Please, do what you can to help them.
We've got the remaining creatures locked down on the landing pad, barely holding our perimeter. They said you've done this before. Well, one fire team to spare and whatever supplies you need, but I can't risk them taking over any more of my men. Put those things down and do it fast. We will hold them as best we can. Do you have any experience with Terramorphs before? Only the brief they just gave on the way here. But we know how to handle pressure. Surviving a full-on mental assault isn't the same as keeping your cool in a firefight. Might make you more liability than asset. We're not UC security. You don't need to worry about us. Roger that. We're on you. Eyes open.
the remaining creatures locked down on the Barely holding our perimeter. They said you've done this before. Well, one fire team to spare and whatever supplies you need, but I, I can't risk them taking over any more of my men. Put those things down and do it. Did you have any experience with Terramorphs before? Only the brief they just gave on the way here, but we know how to handle pressure. Surviving a full-on mental assault isn't the same as keeping your cool in a firefight. Might make you more liability than asset. We're not UC security. You don't need to worry about us. Roger that. We're on you. No one wants to take us on. Bring it. So lucky. The few protecting the many. And it would have been plenty more if it hadn't been for the two of you. The city owes you both a debt after this. We were just in the right place at the right time. Captain, we should report back to the President. Let her know the Terramorphs have been dealt with. Take care of yourself, Sergeant.
your people all know how much we owe them today. Yes, my officers were unprepared. Captain? Hadrian? It would appear that the Cabinet owes you our thanks for what you did for the city today. As well as an apology. Your concerns about the Terramorphs will consider them validated. Thank you, ma'am. Of course. I only wish we could have acted sooner. Now, today's events have only clarified our path forward in the eyes of the Cabinet. You will have our full support in collecting the Terramorph data from the Archives, as well as a subsequent investigation into the nature of these attacks. But to accomplish those goals, we're going to need the right people in the right places. As such, the Cabinet has authorized me to reinstate you, Hadrian, effective immediately, to your former rank of Major. As soon as we've got the data in hand, we want you investigating these attacks and how to stop them. Will you do this? I... Uh, yes Yes, ma'am. I'd be honored. Excellent. But as you've both made clear, for such an investigation to succeed first, we're going to need someone to convince the Free Star Collective and House Varun to play ball. Someone who knows precisely the sorts of dangers the colonies and all the galaxy are facing right now. The Cabinet wants you, Captain, to be that representative. We do. In exchange, we're willing to fast-track your citizenship upon collection of the data. So, will you help us? I'm glad to hear it. Now, we, of course, won't be sending you in without the proper support. Deputy McIntyre in the Office of Interstellar Affairs will be your guide on gaining access to the archives. You should be able to find her in her office across the hall. And on behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our thanks. You're dismissed. Damage to the spaceport. Vanguard Captain. You... Yes, sir. I'll make sure they get what they require. That must make you my Vanguard Captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassine's second-in-command. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. I was also informed that you gave quite the presentation to the Cabinet. Chief Yassin wants you to know the Interstellar Affairs Office is fully committed to this endeavor. Accessing the Terramorph data and beyond. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure you have the tools you need. And that means first getting you into the Archives. You do know what the Archives are, correct? Hmm. Someone paid attention in current events. So... Then you also know that it was originally managed by the three major galactic players. Access to the archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency and requires a one-time use code from each of the three armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people, the ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun, to hand over their codes. Get them both, and you'll have your data. But that's a lot easier said than done. <laughs> it won't be. Both ambassadors have reasons they won't, or can't, work with us. Now. I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. Though that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? 
Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar, or Ambassador Balmore of House Baroom? Ah, the good Ambassador Radcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code. Certainly. See, good diplomacy is all about the careful application of pressure. We just need to find the squeeze. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the Ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Now, we recovered some intel we believe should be able to help with that. But there's also a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for information. Maybe even convinced to work with you. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up you're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. And take these. Chief Yassine wanted you to have some options on how to proceed in there. Official line is that you're to negotiate with her. Use your charm and personal narrative to sway her to our cause. My suggestion is to access the listening device in her quarters to get leverage on her and don't get caught doing it. She's also got a staff member that might be more sympathetic to helping us. Do with that information what you will. Ambassador Balmore's a challenge. When the rest of House Varun retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the Armistice, Balmor stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. It does, but there's a concern. We're not 100% sure Balmore is actually still alive. His public appearances were always rare, but it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. I have no doubt. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here, this device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Now, if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be smart out there, Captain. Yes? You needed something?
What if that malfunctions? Sometimes that's just how things are. been having brown eyes all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. Maybe we should stop for a moment at the memorial. You know, to pay our respects. Hard to believe it's been two decades since we were at war with the Collective. Because... Visitors are only allowed in I'm going to be up front with you. I'm not happy visiting anything related to the Freestar Collective. But you lead, I'll follow. You see, never fails to disappoint. I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. Uh, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, excuse me. Are you supposed to be in here? I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. You have my thanks for what you did down there. Truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection, that now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy, in order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. Hmm. I was afraid of that. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time, and yours, and go. No, Captain, I'm not, and I'll tell you why. What you experienced down there at the spaceport, I've lived that once before already. Fought tooth and nail as aliens rampaged in the streets of my home and others all throughout the Collective. But my aliens were placed there by UC hands. So I'm not interested in anyone getting power like that ever again. The UC, most of all. You have my answer. Now, please, take the hint. You're really gonna push this? All right, I will give you one chance, one, to convince me. Understood. I'm listening. If you think some flowery language is gonna change my mind, you're gravely mistaken. Oh yes, this band research is precisely what the factions need to kickstart their relationship. Let's breed a bioweapon together.
Preventing more deaths is precisely what I'm trying to do by keeping the archives sealed. Captain, I'm sorry, but my answer is not changing. The UC is just gonna have to find another way. Now, I presume you can see yourself out. Did I not make myself a... You have my answer. I guess you will. Sorry. Oh, wait. You're the Vanguard captain, right? You know, I was about to board the Nat to the spaceport when the alarm triggered. Sounds like I got real lucky. And like I've got you to thank for things not being a lot uglier. Well, then you have my earnest thanks. But, but look, they said you were coming here on official business. The Ambassador likes to handle all that personally. Even if she does have trained diplomats here to help her. And I don't want to get shipped back to Aquila City, so... you should probably go speak to her. You... were sent... for me? Huh, uh, maybe... Let's go somewhere to talk. So you want me to work with you, but why now? Why me? No, I, I think that's a pretty safe assumption, and no other city should have to go through what happened here. So then, uh, what would you need from me? Okay, uh, <clears throat> first you need her bio key, and that thing doesn't leave her side. Better chance of splitting the atom with a spoon than me getting that from her. The code machine. Only the ambassador's cleared for in there. Sorry. Her quarters. Well, that's doable. And you... and the UC will be providing me with... what for my services? Really? Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, You've got yourself a deal. Okay, so... There's a utility corridor that leads to the Ambassador's Quarters, which you can access through the main conference room. Here, the key. Whatever you do, don't let the guard see you entering or exiting the utility section, or you're gonna be in serious hot water. I'll, uh, I'll keep an ear out for more instructions from the UC.
at last. Nick is so satisfying, isn't it? Limits. Free starts. Okay, let's go. This isn't a playground. Good. And you can bet the UC is gonna hear about this. Next time you decide to break the law, how about you leave me behind? You're on thin ice. Don't push it.
phone's relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. What is it? Until later. understand there was no chance you were getting into the archives before security threw you out, yes? E excuse me? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, uh, no, no. I if the Council found out, I'd lose my position. I'd be exiled. I'd be... Look... I believe we may have gotten off on the wrong foot. The issue at hand is one of trust, no? So perhaps if I can trust you to keep this little secret between us, then maybe we can find a way to trust the UC with access to the archives. I can even have embassy security forget about your little transgressions from earlier. What do you say? You're joking, right? You want... Okay. Please. Please. I spoke hastily. And I know you, my dear, dear friend, wouldn't want to let anything get in the way of the two of us and our factions working together. And isn't that ultimately what this is all about? In fact, I think there's an opportunity here. Keep both our factions happy and ensure an air of legitimacy to the whole proceeding. I can only let you get the information on the Terramorphs. Anything else and people will get suspicious. And all research will need to be monitored. Freestar scientific observers making sure everything's being used for the right purposes. But those two items should be enough to allay any suspicions. on earth are you ah oh, yes how could i forget here the fee now let's go get your code piece so you can be on your way
road generators just this way. It's not supposed to be a long process. It is for emergencies, after all. Here you go. Uh, I hope that'll be enough to maintain your discretion. You try something for me. Varun abandoned their embassy. What I expected at all. It appears the flora they were using as decor has overgrown. <laughs> this before in my entire run. It would actually be more fascinating if the branches weren't blocking our way.
So, what seems punishment becomes providence. A reminder we can never truly know the Great Serpent's designs for us. You have my thanks, and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. Not the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the Venom Tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? <laughs> Tell me, though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack, uh, then the embassy was struck with a power surge, and then... Silence. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly? Huh, is that right, huh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. Now, it cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door, hmm? And the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Uh... <sighs> An archive code. So the UC requires information then. On terror morphs, presumably. Hmm? Do I see this all clearly? Yeah, the preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks, there is logic there. But if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Oh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. We'll do everything we can to make certain that happens. Well, then I shall not fear. Please. Follow me. <sighs> Let's hope it still works. And there. Let it be used for good.
gave up. Captain, I just received a couple messages from an operative in the embassy office. I did... Did you actually succeed? With Radcliffe? And Balmore? Was he alive? Did they both actually agree? Dealing with the interests and egos of people who don't necessarily like you is rarely easy. But I suppose that didn't stop you, did it? And now, I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. Absolute best behavior down there, all right? Surprised to find out we're having visitors as we work. Major Sanan and I were just discussing the merits of your planned interfactional cooperation. 
think it's a great idea. Get them invested in the solution. Make it clear we've got nothing to hide. I'm sure they'll be lovely house guests. Now, Captain, if you wouldn't mind transferring the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing next steps. Time for us to start getting some real answers, and figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So, whenever you're ready. Acknowledged and accepted, Captain. So, with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Should even be able to house its own cadre of independent observers. Though, it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. Even if you have made my life more challenging than it needed to be, a deal is a deal. We need to make you a citizen. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. All right, Captain. Are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good, Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? Good enough, I suppose. And then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here, your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. We've also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this, given your performance earlier. But this person asked to speak to you specifically. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? I'm sorry. I can't share any more without your word. Do I have it? Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there.
life, and I had no idea this place even existed. The UC certainly excels at keeping safe. I'll be fine. You go on.
Captain. Admiral Logan informed me of your part in halting the attacks. Whole damn city owes you. Now, what do you need? Right. Got so wound up bringing you on board, I almost forgot. Oh, I haven't. Come on, John. Let's hear it, before you try to convince him to join the Marines. All right. Here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. A soul system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. Oh, brother. Good luck out there, Vanguard. I have something for you when you have a moment. Here, I have something for you. You're welcome. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. I'm just pleased I get to utilize some of my old field collecting skills. It's been a while. Check back with me from time to time after we return from our planetary jaunts. If I pick anything up, it's all yours.
been serving drinks here for over 40 years. Few places can offer that kind of stability. What's your poison? He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the Blackest Sea. Ah, oh, believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four was all he would talk about. He's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially when it's missing. But <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular. But if I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? Let me confirm the email. Okay. Let's talk. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. Just singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Can't say I'm a fan of excitement and drama around here. Distressingly close to those Varun ships. 
If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away.
captain on deck. Two steps in and we're already looking.
run. I've patched up my ship, and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance.
Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. at your service, Captain. <laughs> we have it. Go ahead. It fits! The energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Mm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation, as a full member this time. We're going to do great things together, all of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? 
A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Time to go? Oh.